teaching, and I was thinking, well, how do I get this? And Satan spoke to me and said, you can't have this. This is not real. I put this on to show you what you could have had you not given the life to me. But you're not like this. You're my phone too. And I remember this thing that was the end. That was the end. I knew mean, where to go. And I was walking down the hallway, and my daughter was spending the night at her house that night. And I was walking down the hallway, and I walked into my home living room. And I thought, you know, I can't live, and I can't die. I'm stuck. Jesus to get me out, and he's left me here, and so in my mind, I decided that this is where I needed to be, this is where I belong, Satan's right, it is my fault, I should have never given my life to him, and right then, I became angry for the first time at Satan, and I sat there, I stood up, and I just verbally, just out loud said to Satan, I said, you know what? I know I'm in hell, I know this is your turf, but I tell you what, I will no longer be a willing participant. You and I are through. I am so done with you, and I don't know what happens if you get cast out of hell, but if you want to cast me out of hell, that's okay, and maybe I'll go into the ether, or to whatever it's called, you know, into a nothingness, the abyss or the black hole, wherever. I don't care. I would rather spend eternity in nothing than to spend eternity with you. And at that point, I just turned around and one last time, this happened in my living room, 